Well, Los Angeles has long been the most congested metro area in the country, but now the city has turned itself into a model for traffic control. It's a cutting-edge system for coordinating traffic citywide, and as Ben Tracy reports, transportation experts are cheering. The average L.A. driver spent 59 hours stuck in traffic last year, a delay that wasted 27 gallons of excess fuel and cost $1,300 per person. This is the city known for sprawl. With population growth and so many people buying their kids a car, uh, when they graduate from high school, we're going to have a lot of traffic in this town. Three. In February, Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa announced the completion of a 29-year project to synchronize 44,000 traffic signals across the city's 469 square miles, a feat that he says is improving both gridlock and quality of life. When you look at our carbon emissions, when you look at uh, what it's done for first responders, when you look at what it's done for rapid transit uh, and uh, commuter times and speeds, uh, it's, it's been an investment well worth uh, the, the cost. The synchronization system, which cost $400 million, has been called the most comprehensive traffic mitigation effort in the world. These circular shapes in the road are magnetic sensors that send real-time traffic updates through fiber optic cables to this underground command center in downtown L.A. When a vehicle goes over the sensor, then that's counted and detected. That information is relayed back to the computers in the control center, and the system is constantly mon monitoring the demand on, on the, uh, at each intersection. If the computers detect an abnormal backup in traffic, they will automatically adjust the signals in that area, holding some stoplights on green for longer to help the congestion clear. If the computers can't fix the problem, engineers monitoring more than 500 live video feeds around the city will step in. Is this system going to make congestion disappear? I don't believe so, but it will allow us to manage that congestion in a better way. Beyond car traffic, the system also monitors alternative forms of transportation, like bike riders and pedestrians. Mass transit is given priority status, so trains can move through the city without stopping, while green lights are held longer for buses that are running behind schedule. No other city in the world has done anything on this scale. Uh, no other city in the U.S. really is even close to this. While some American cities like New York, Chicago, Atlanta, and Houston have synchronized some of their traffic signals, none have gone as far as Los Angeles, and studies show it is making an impact. According to the city's planning department of transportation, it has reduced the drive time on major L.A. corridors by 12 percent, while increasing travel speeds by 16 percent. I haven't noticed any changes. Since they synchronized the lights, no, it's, it's gotten worse. It's, it's actually really worse. It's not no better. Unfortunately for most Los Angeles residents, the improvements to the traffic system are largely imperceptible. I think they will appreciate more when, if the system wasn't working. The congestion is, is going to be here because we have a, a very vibrant city. In other words, although there will always be gridlock in L.A., it could be a whole lot worse. But don't expect Los Angelinos to stop complaining about it anytime soon. It's what people are used to talking about. They equate L.A. with movie stars. It'll be that way forever. And they equate L.A. with congestion. It'll probably be that way forever. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles. I think it takes a massive improvement in traffic for you actually to feel like it's getting better. Yeah, like half the people staying off the road. Yeah, I think, that would be right? good. Can we work that out?